Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at the brand new Urban Homage kit created in collaboration with Ebonix. As always, I'd like to say thank you to the EA Creator Network for providing me with a code for this pack. The Urban Homage kit comes with 29 new clothing pieces which definitely feel nostalgic to me. There is a mix of interesting pieces inspired by fashion forward city styles and iconic throwback items. The pack feels bright and modern, aimed at young adults who are looking to make a big statement. Ebonix is a content creator, Twitch ambassador and advocate for representation in gaming. She is well known in the community for her ethnic and urban custom content and has collaborated with The Sims on multiple projects. Recently, you may have seen her presenting an award at the BAFTA Gaming Awards. First up, I need to talk about the dashiki. Now, I believe this item was originally one of Ebonex's CC pieces, but now it's been officially added to the game. I'm really pleased to see this as my dad spent his childhood in Nigeria, it's where he grew up, and I'm always happy to see positive representation of West African culture in the media. The region is famous for its brightly printed fabrics and the colourful swatches on this item represent that. I love the detail of the neckline with the t-shirt underneath and the sleeves are a nice loose shape. It's available for both masculine and feminine frames. Here I paired it with the shorts from Moonlight Chic Kit and the trainers from Inky on Arrivals to give it a fun summer carnival feel. I finished the outfit with these extra glamorous new nails. I love the foil tips on these. Next up, we have this cute little matching jacket and jeans combo. The team did a great job on the denim texture of this and that pocket detail looks great up close. Although I do feel like it looks a little bit busy when you zoom out. The swatches on the top match the swatches on the bottoms, so this is an easy outfit to put together. Now, I haven't updated my graphics card, so it might just be a me thing, but I'm noticing a little tear in the mesh. Just something to be aware of if this is an issue that you also tend to run into. The jacket looks good on different body shapes and chest sizes. Oops, there's that tearing again. But with it being so cropped, it can be a little tricky to match with other bottoms. So I do recommend looking for items with a higher waist. It looks great with this skirt from the kit. And here I paired it with those shorts from Bowling Night that you know that I love. This is the crocheted sun hat from high school years and the new trainers from Full Rent. Here my model Megan is wearing it with these pink denim flares from Dream Home Decorator which are so flattering and the new boots, earrings and necklace from the new kit. The jeans are a flattering shape and easy to mix and match with other packs, especially Grunge Revival and the Goth Galore kits. Basically all the tops go great with these bottoms. Here I've given the jeans more of a crunchy coffee shop poet vibe with this cute top from Dream Home Decorator, the loafers from the modern menswear kit and the boater hat from Get Together. Can we just take a minute to appreciate how nice the detail on these sleeves is? The jeans also look really good on guys. I don't know why they're not enabled for the masculine frame. Look, here they are with this sexy sweater from Crystal Creations and the layered denim from Horse Ranch. I don't know, I just think it's neat. There are also these patchy jeans available for masculine frames which aren't enabled for females but which look really good too. So this is just a reminder to toggle off the filters occasionally to get more options. I really like these, they remind me of the clothing from Eco Lifestyle on Werewolves and they have this kind of grungy, arty, make do and mend feel. So naturally I styled it here with the oversized shirt and beanie from Grunge Revival and the Converse style trainers from Werewolves. Here they are with a simple white t-shirt on a bigger frame and on a feminine frame with the goth revival layered t-shirt and boots. Here I went for a more kind of cottage industry arts and crafts feel with that really nice knitted tiny living jumper. Next up, one of my favourite items in this pack, this cropped vest. Now it does come in some really fun and vibrant swatches which are great for teens. I matched this graffiti print with the dungarees from Eco Lifestyle and the scribble pumps from Grunge Revival for a kind of I'm an art student painting murals on the walls of San Myshuno Energy. While here with the goth galore pants and boots it says Tank Girl meets Miley Cyrus in her punk phase. 
I used the I used the new necklace and rings from the kit here. Uh, the necklace is really bright and bold um, and I wish it had like an antique bronze color, but it definitely makes an impact. And I really love the style of these rings. I appreciate that they're also available for both hands. So you don't have to worry about overwriting your wedding ring if you want to get that look. Um, so that's great. And I wish they would do that more. However, I'm, I do feel like the colour swatches on this are a little bit strange and I wish they'd gone for more kind of metal colours in a few different variants rather than the kind of purples, but I don't know, maybe you guys love them. What I really like about this top is how versatile the black and white swatches are because they're so easy to throw on with some of the more stylized bottoms. Sometimes you just need a really simple plain top, like a good fitting t-shirt with a nice texture on it. Um, something quite plain because sometimes the bottoms have, you know, a bit of detail going on that you really want to show off and you don't want to detract attention away from. I love these trousers from the Full Rent expansion pack, but I found it really hard to find a top that doesn't cover them or distract attention from that beautiful waistline. And I love how this simple white tucked vest top creates this clean, professional style combined with the white pumps from Moonlight Chic. It really has this kind of minimalist look to it that I do think was very popular circa 2000, along with a really simple French manicure, a ring, and that poolside splash necklace. Joy here has the plain black swatch with combat pants and converse for a really sleek style that definitely reminds me of circa 2000 girl bands like Eternal and Destiny's Child. I definitely remember this kind of really sleek clean aesthetic coming into fashion where clothing became really tonal and unfussy and the emphasis moved to self-care with people getting you know those orange fake tans, uh, lots of fr French manicures and then people straightening their hair with THCs that raged with the heat of the nine hells of Avernus. Another Y2K monstrosity that still haunts my fashion fail phobias is this cute butterfly top. Now, I loved these, but they did not love me. My titties needed more structural support than these tiny teeny bopper straps allowed. No amount of tit tape would secure these puppies into a Mariah moment that I could confidently pull off for an entire evening. However, they look great on my sims who don't have to worry about knit slips, gravity, or embarrassing fashion fails. Uh, they've seen a revival lately with K-pop stars and Dua Lipa wearing them. I think they're definitely great for Instagram photo shoots, but less practical for actually going out and clubbing and dancing the night away. The butterfly top looks cute with these high school years high rise flares and these horse ranch items, which are really giving me Jessica Simpson vibes. <laughs> It comes in cutesy holographic swatches, which also remind me of high school years, but also this black swatch, which you can use to make it look a little bit more rock and roll. Back to the guys. I really love these full body dungarees. They come in some great color combinations and it's nice to see some usable full body outfits for guys. Here I just threw on these Cord Realm and Magic boots, but it looks cute with trainers as well. And it looks nice on different body types. It's a great item. This simple jacket combines really easily with jeans or here with these black pants from Crystal Creations and the corduroy boots from Dream Home Decorator for a sophisticated modern drinks at the bar outfit. I do wish that the leather looked a little bit less shiny and more worn though. I always say less is more when it comes to men's fashion and this top is on point. I could definitely see a lot of guys wearing this and feeling fine, feeling fresh. Combining the light denim with the crisp white t-shirt and pumps makes it feel really modern um, and I paired it easily with these jeans from Eco Lifestyle which add a lot of interest. The simple chain from Poolside Splash complements the look. This is an example of where you have some bottoms that have a little bit more detail on and you need something a little bit more simple to kind of match with it so that it doesn't look too much. This look is a little bit more rolling out of bed in the morning to go and get coffee with a hangover with those brilliant Grunge Revival PJ bottoms. Okay, switching over to this sports jersey. It definitely has a morning after the big game energy. Honestly, I want to love this item, but I just don't. There's something a bit off about it. The mesh seems a little bit unnaturally big and bulky to me. Um, it doesn't quite sit right. And the colors look a little bit cartoonishly bright, almost like, you know, um, when you first start making CC and you put just a print that you've, you know, copy pasted from the internet onto something. I'm the problem, it's me. 
So I wish that they'd gone for a more natural kind of relaxed fit, maybe rumpled it up a little bit, made it a bit more slim fitting, and then made the jersey look more worn looking, kind of washing out some of the colours to make it look like an old favourite item that you just can't let go of. It's a shame because it has this really nice texture on it that looks like a cotton, but then it has this really unnatural shine all over it, which I find really off-putting. I think if the execution was better on this, it would have been a really great item, but that shine just and the weird shape really puts me off. It is also available for the feminine frame and it's tagged as sportswear, which is great because I, I appreciate <laughs> because I appreciate when things are tagged effectively. Um, I think the mesh I think the mesh fits a little bit better on the female frame. The sleeves are kind of a cool shape, but again, the shiny and overly cartoony colours and prints really do put me off. And it's just personal preference though, I guess, so do let me know what you think on that. The high shine on the items is a drawback of this kit in general for me. Um, I love the shape of this kind of matching sporty combo and I am a big fan of kind of sportswear in the game. I would love to get more of it, you know, more sportswear that's better fitting, but I always feel a little bit let down. Um, I dislike how the shine makes it look a little bit cheap and unrealistic. It's that all over shine and then the colours feel a little bit off to me as well. Um, I really do love the shape of it, but... <sighs> Maybe here I would have gone for a more, like either a black contrast waistband instead of this kind of odd mismatched red combination. Like why isn't it just the same shade of red? Why does it have to be this kind of purplish red and orangey red? It just seems like a weird choice to me. Like why isn't it just the same shade of red? It's frustrating to me because I actually really love the shape of these items. The mesh is really well made. And just look at the detail on those zips. But for some reason, they've gone for a high shine spec mat. And I think maybe they were going for like a looks or kind of like retro shell suit fabric. But it just comes off looking really plasticky. I think the devs achieved a better shine on these kind of moonlight chic silky combat pants. Or these slightly shiny high school years joggers. However, items within the pack do mix and match quite well, and I like the jacket with the blue jeans. Um, I would have liked the colours to have matched the throwback thick kit a little bit better though, since they have the same kind of retro sportswear theme. Uh, the crop top works great though. <laughs> Yay, the crop top. I think the shine on these pants works a lot better. Like, they look like pleather or latex, which I think is the intention of what they wanted the fabric to be. I understand what they're trying to do with this. I think that they look really sexy and really cool and I love them with this jacket from the goth galore kit. Here's how they look on different body types. Unfortunately, I did find another seam glitch on the ankle here and I just wish the quality of cast was a little bit more consistent um, and I find cast to be very hit and miss in terms of, you know, how successful the implementation of it is. I wasn't sure if I liked this top or not at first. Honestly, I think we get a lot of waistcoat shapes in The Sims and I'm a little bit tired of them. I really love the mesh top underneath though and I wish that we could get that as an accessory. You know, like tights or gloves for layering underneath any clothes that we want. I do like this top as a fun club wear piece though and I like it with these moonlight chic shorts and Inky on Arrival's trainers. And here I gave it a kind of punk aesthetic with the goth galore skirts and boots and this grunge revival chain necklace. And I've layered some fishnets and over the knee stockings with this to give it kind of like that edgy look. One of my favourite items is this simple cute tie front top. I need more tops that are easy to mix and match like this and I love the ribbed detail on the cuffs. But I wish they'd gone for more of a ribbed or cotton fabric texture. What is with the shine in this kit? I like the white with the light denim and really simple clean jewellery. Uh, like this skirt from Discovery University or here with these dream home decorated jeans and Ugg boots. It also comes with really fun psychedelic prints which feel like a big compliment to high school years. Speaking of high school years, there's also this skirt which is really cute but very similar to the one from the expansion bag. If I'm being super picky, I'd also comment that the pocket looks a little bit cut off, but overall this skirt fits really well and goes with a lot of other items. 
the lime swatch is fun for this kind of acid goth look or you can go for something more studious like this academia jacket from Inky on Arrivals. You really do get a wide range of themes with this kit and the items work actually really well together but I think they work best with items from other packs. These sporty shorts look great with this kind of rumpled vest from Poolside Splash or this kind of dad picking up his kids from baseball practice energy of this relaxed grungy t-shirt. Like it's available for girls too and it's giving Billie Eilish, it's giving Gwen Stefani. <laughs> Another item that I have mixed feelings about is this cutout bodysuit. Like I love this, I love this and it would be so, so great as like a full body outfit, maybe with like a little bum bag or something or even as a swimsuit. Um, but the underwear kind of bleeds through, the underwear texture kind of pops out from underneath. I do wonder if it's been tagged wrong because it's listed as a top which is great because it looks really cute tucked into pants only it looks a little bit odd under like the tie side pants because you can see the shorts underneath and like I was wondering maybe that's intentional right maybe the intention is to wear it underneath the skirt but you can't, you can't really see the shorts underneath any of the skirts in the game so I'm just a bit confused about what this item is trying to be. I wish there were two versions of this. I wish there was a full body version that could just be worn with like pumps and like without the underwear bleeding through underneath and uh, then having like the top version to kind of tuck into jeans. Again, I do wish that they'd reduced the shine on this or given it some texture, like this ribbed swimsuit from Poolside Splash. Honestly, this could have been so cute, but it just needs to know what it wants to be. <laughs> There's also this t-shirt and honestly I'm obsessed with the design on this, it looks so cool but the t-shirt itself, like the shape of it is a bit blocky and the neckline looks a little bit unfinished. I just wish that they put a little bit more work into making more natural fitting t-shirt shapes. Like I pray every day for a, just a really good fitting white basic t-shirt. Like if they could just rumple it up a little bit, like this vest knows what I'm talking about. I don't know, the artwork on this is so good, but it has that kind of copy pasted onto the mesh look, like basic CC. I'm the problem, it's me. There's also this, and I don't know, I just like it, okay? I don't have to explain wearable basics, they just exist with their, with their understated greatness, and do you know what, they know their worth. <laughs> The pack comes with plenty of accessories including this really cool nose piercing and big statement earrings and a bold necklace. The team have been on a roll with the jewellery lately and I love to see it. You also get this beautiful hair wrap like I love this so much and some really stylish boots like I love these and I've wanted boots like these in the game for a while. I do wish that they had a few more kind of plain swatches like a brown leather would have been cool and they have this thing where you know if you compare it to other shoes it kind of cuts off the toe they look a little bit stumpy for some reason and then also they to me they're boots but they're listed under high heels so confusing but I'm happy to have them. <laughs> And that's it, That that's, I think that's everything. Honestly, I do really like this kit a lot. Like, I know that I get super picky about Cass and that's just me being, I don't know, working in fashion for 10 years and being a little bit of a perfectionist with it. Like, it was my job to critique things to within an inch of its life so that I could like make my displays and things the best that they could possibly be. So I do get overly critical with Cass sometimes, but at the same time, you know, there's certain things that, I think are reoccurring problems and I think if the Sims team could just you know make the quality you know consistently high um, and you know really deliver really kind of like get things right um, consistently I think that would be great because sometimes I feel a little bit like Sometimes I sit there and think, are they giving us like the cast offs from other packs that didn't quite make the cut, you know, with kits? And I don't think that's the case at all, but sometimes I get that feeling. Um, and I think that could be avoided if, you know, there was just a little bit more attention to detail, especially in terms of, you know, how shiny something is, whether it's the correct shine for the fabric that they're trying to achieve, you know, whether rather than having an all over shine, perhaps if it just shined in the right places, it shined bright like a diamond, but only where it should shine and you know like again this thing about 
you know, if I wanted a blocky looking t-shirt with a cool print on, I could make that myself so easily with CC. And there's so much of that out there. And so from Maxis, I want to get like that quality that's harder to achieve as a CC artist, you know, where you, um, you know, where instead of the print just being plastered on where the print actually morphs and folds with the fabric um, and I think that's harder to achieve so I like I think you know if we're paying for packs and I know I got this pack for free but you know if I were paying for this pack I would uh, I would expect you know maxis quality and maxis quality needs to be higher I think sometimes and I do love the designs of this pack like like Ebonix like actually actually really nailed it and I've been wanting an urban pack and I've been wanting specifically like a streetwear packs more streetwear packs would be great um but I was specifically wanting kind of like a menswear streetwear pack so when I saw this I thought do you know what that is actually what I've been asking for and I do think Ebonix had a vision and she nailed it like I definitely see the throwback items in there I remember you know having those things as a teenager myself but I think you know again like has the vision been properly implemented and achieved? I think somewhere it got a little bit lost along the process. So again, just feedback for the Sims team that, you know, there's been some great stuff lately, but you know, they could make something good into something great. And I think that's the aim for the future. All right, that, that's my thoughts. Let me know, do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you feel differently about any of the items? Did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? Engage with, with me down in the comment box below. And of course, always remember, like and subscribe the video. It helps me out and I appreciate your feedback. Do take care friends and have a good week. Bye-bye. Oh guys, also send me your pictures on, if you're on Twitter or Twi Twix, whatever it's called now, like, and you, um, you have some great outfit ideas using any of this kit, like send me your pictures on Twitter. I love to see everybody's thoughts and everybody's styles. Like, I'm so into it. All right, I'm going. Take care. Bye, friends.